President Terry. We have a whole hassle of Rotarians who were born in the good old summertime, July and August, and uh, I apologize to the July people. I missed you uh, not being here. We'll pick you up today. There are 13 people in Rotarians who were born in July. Raleigh York, who starts off on the very first, and followed by Wayne Underwood, Judy Yonts, Bob Stankle, Beth Alexander, Hunter Crisp, Jason Tuggle, Steve Arthur, Tony McCullough, Ricky Murphy, Natalie Tremblay, Gus Patterson, and Kate Gentry. That's a fast one right there, a lot of, a lot of Julys. And we have eight Rotaries who celebrate birthdays in, in August. Karen Slate, Kim Cecil, Harold Kennedy, Christina Keller, David Williams, Alan Dunall, Doug Russell, <laughs> Gary Bowers, and uh, so we got a, a lot of births in the in the summer. Anna Quinlan was also born in July. I don't know if you know Anna Quinlan. Anybody know Anna Quinlan? She uh, you need to look her up because she's one of the great writers in in the modern days in the United States. And uh, she wrote a very short book that she titled A Short Guide to a Happy Life. And it is, it's a small book. But I want to share from her writing as a birthday present to our friends who turn whatever years it is in July and August. And this is really for everybody. So here's what she writes. Stan, I'm going to stop you before you get too far because I hate not to get this on video. Jared, if you will, uh, till, yep. Yeah, there we go. We got Sam. Thank you. All right. Uh, starting all over again. <laughs> here's what here's what Anna Quinlan writes. You're the only person alive who has sole custody of your life, your particular life, your entire life, not just your life at a desk or at the computer, not just the life of your mind, but the life of your heart. Not just your bank account, but your soul. People don't talk about the soul very much anymore. It's so much easier to write a resume than to craft a spirit. But a resume is cold comfort on a winter night, or when you're sad or broke or lonely, or when you've gotten your x-ray back, the chest x-ray, and it wasn't good. Here's my resume, Anna Quinn writes. I'm a good mother to three good children. I've never tried to let my profession stand in the way of being a good parent. I no longer consider myself the center of the universe. I show up, I listen, I try to laugh. I'm a good friend to my husband. I try to make my marriage vows mean what they say. I show up, I listen, I try to laugh. I'm a good friend to my friends. They to me. Without them, I would have nothing of interest to say to anyone because I would just be a cardboard cutout. But I call them on the phone and I meet them for lunch. I show up. I listen. I try to laugh. I would be rotten in my job if these other things were not true. You can't really be first rate at your work if your work is all you are. So I suppose the best piece of advice I can give anyone is pretty simple. Get a life. A real life. Not a manic pursuit of the next promotion or a bigger paycheck, larger house. Do you think you care so very much about these things that you develop an aneurysm one afternoon or found a lump in your breast while in the shower? Get a light in which you notice the smell of salt water pushing itself on a breeze. A light in which you stop and watch how a red-tailed hawk circles over a pond. Get a light in which you pay attention to the baby as she scowls with concentration when she tries to pick up a Cheerio with her thumb and first finger. Turn off your cell phone. Keep still. Be present. Get a light in which you're not alone. Find people you love and do love you. And remember that love is not leisure, it's work. Send an email, write a note, kiss your mom, hug your dad. 
Get a life in which you're generous. Realize that life is glorious and that you have no business taking it for granted. Care so deeply about its goodness that you want to spread it around. <clears throat> Work in a soup kitchen. Two through seventh grade. All of us want to do well, but if we do not do good too, then doing well will never be enough. Live by the words of this poem by Gwendolyn Brooks. Exhaust the little moment, soon it dies. And be it gash or gold, it will not come again in this identical disguise. Life is short. Remember that too. And always look at the view. The same happy birthday. You'll stand because it's July or August birthday. It's a bunch of it. Go ahead and stand up. You're able to. <laughs>